Hi everyone and welcome to another Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to talk about making um, one of those things called animations. So we're going to talk about animation and animation uh, making. <laughs> uh, making animations. So we're going to make animations in this tutorial class schedule. Schedule. Oh my gosh I'm all over the place. Basically in this tutorial we're going to talk about making animations and poses and all those fun things. Um, I want to show you how to go from making poses to making uh, animations, then um, how to do a motion trace, and it's all fun and stuff and I can't wait to jump in there. I think that's probably why I'm stuttering and messing up like this because I'm so excited to finally be able to do this. Um, I'm also going to show you how to import props and stuff to use as well and as well as how to import your cl rigged clothes and stuff into the workspace to help you out. Now I bet you're wondering like why do I need to put my clothes and stuff in here when I'm making animations? Well it can help you for a number of reasons. One, you could use it for, um, well, let's take this ball gown I'm wearing, for example. You see how I'm standing here and my AO goes, makes my hands go right through the ball gown? It kind of ruins the illusion of the dress. So if we were to import the dress into Blender, um, we can animate with the dress in mind. And, you know, I can make a standing where my hands are on top of the dress or folded neatly and ladylike in front of it. That's why I'm wearing this ball gown instead of my normal pirate suit. Um, props and furniture, same thing. Um, let's say you want to make bed animation or you're making an animation where you're sitting in your chair or you're, you just bought some furniture or some furniture kits or something like that and you want to animate it perfectly instead of having the guest like well I think I'm on the bed or have it or I think I'm on the chair. Now this will help you tailor your animations to uh, whatever you're animating to. So I'm going to show you all the tricks and tips that I know. Now it may not be the best tips or tricks and I don't know everything but I'll get you to a point where you can like at least get your feet wet and know what you're doing enough to half-ass it like a pro. So that's the uh, zero guarantee. <laughs> Alright so um, for this tutorial you're going to need a copy of Blender. I'm using Blender 2.72 as always. A copy of Avastar. I'm using Avastar 1.71. Uh, if you plan on importing your clothes and the props and stuff that's already here, you're going to need a copy of Darkstorm. I'm using 3.10 OS. And you're going to need a copy of Meshes because that does the work for us. So, yeah. Um, everything that you are going to need is going to be down in the description. So, you can always just pick that up. Um, and if you feel uncomfortable using Meshes and Darkstorm, we have Sandboxy for you. So you can run your computer in a nice isolated sandbox and still do all the things that I do here. Even though, you know, your computer's fine. So um, that's it for our intro. Make sure you download all of our products and stuff, all the products and stuff that you need to start. And once you have all that stuff downloaded, let's just hop over to the next video and we'll get on animating. So, see you guys in the next video.